Father, I and your precious child have come before you, thanking you already because you have done for us what no man can do. But thank you in advance as we pray Psalm 73 over what is happening in the heart of your child. Like the psalmist Asaf cried out over the brazen pride and prosperity of arrogant evildoers. Your child is feeling surrounded by adversaries scheming for their downfall even as anxiety and uncertainty continues to mount upon their lives. And so Lord I pray Psalm 35 over them today that you were content with those who contend with them. You fight against those who fight against them as you awaken the justice that comes from you through the armies of your angels to pursue and overthrow the wicked. Thank you because you are vindicating and delivering your faithful saint and contending for breakthrough to give them freedom in the name of Jesus. I stand in the gap on their behalf seeking the face of our Father Lord Jesus Christ from all targeted meticulous enemies wielding manipulation, slander and strategic threats to undermine them. Lord God Almighty, I ask that you reveal your sovereign perspective over all wickedness working against them, even though unlikely channels. As Jehoshaphat proclaimed in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 12, facing insurmountable odds, it says, We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Father, human logic falls, fury of hell schemes are match for earthly artillery. And I plead, agreeing with everyone under the sound of my voice, going through that similar situation. The Lord, you intervene with your invincible hand and reinforcement to protect and defend them through unbearable storms in the name of Jesus. Father God, even Paul was assaulted by religious mobs and shipwrecked. But Lord God, you faithfully delivered each one of his journeys and you gave him greater authority and anointing over them afterward. As gold is refined by fire, I ask that God you refine every situation by your fire to give them justice. And Lord God, I ask as I declare, as you are familiar already, Jesus, with their sorrow and affliction beyond human grasp, I ask that you infuse in them the power to forgive every trespass against them. You were said by by your stripes, you have healed us of all bitter wounds festering into resentment that poisons love, joy and peace flowing through their spirit. And so Lord, we ask that you help them to cling tightly through the tempest of truth, anchoring souls when everything around them feels so tough. We ask that you surround them by your faithful believers who will fan the flames of tenacious faith when weariness sets in. Father, we thank you because you release upon them the authority to rebuke oppression and boldly bless enemies instead in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because vengeance they will not take by themselves. Instead, they would trust you, Lord, to give them the vengeance. As Moses led the Israelites out of slavery through the part of Red Sea, I ask the God Almighty you help them through every storm, through financial lack, seeking to drown them of their dreams and chains of the past. I proclaim Isaiah 49, 25 over them today. And I say, Lord, you will contend with those who contend with them and you will save their children. Our decree that our spiritual warfare intensifies. Lord God, you will mobilize reinforcement to towards attacks, seeking to sabotage your kingdom calling in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every assignment of witchcraft, anxiety and affliction sent to stall their destinies from delivering. And Lord, we expose every root granting access to such oppression, cleansing generation of sin, pass through family bloodline that opens conduit because Lord, the reality of their salvation is already revealed to them. And Lord God Almighty, we thank you because of Psalm 146, declaring Abba Father, as you are the one who upholds the cause of the oppressed. Lord, we thank you because you love justice and makes way for the blind to see again. We thank you, Lord God, because you are lifting them off their buddings and watching them, Lord God, and upholding widows and orphans. Holy Spirit, I thank you because, Lord, 
you are sweeping them of everything that is not of God that has kept them hostage to poverty and threats and prejudice in the name of Jesus. And so I declare Psalm 73 resonating over their lives today. God is indeed good to them, to those who are pure in heart. And our flesh and heart may fail, but God, you remain the strength of their heart and their portion forever. So Lord, I bless and call for the dreams planted in this spirit. Now awaken despite the barrage of arrows the enemy has launched to deter and distract them from crying out and distract them from having the relief. I seal this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, thanking you, Lord God, because you've done it for them. Thank you, Lord, because they have the victory against every enemy attack. Thank you, Lord God, because they are radiant in hope and they are rising in righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I lift you up to God, acknowledging that God is your shepherd, your guide and provider. May God lead you beside still waters and green pastures, providing for your every need. I pray that you will find comfort and peace in knowing that you lack nothing in God's care. May you trust in God's provision and follow God's lead, knowing that He is always with you. I lift you up to God, acknowledging that He is your shepherd and you lack nothing in God's care. I pray that you will trust in God's provision and guidance, knowing that God is faithful to lead you in paths of righteousness and abundance. May you find contentment and fulfillment in God's presence, knowing that God is always near to provide for your needs. I pray that you will feel the gentle guidance of God's hand, leading you along paths of righteousness for God's name's sake. Verse 2 of Psalm 23. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. I pray that you will experience the rest and refreshment that comes from lying down in God's green pastures and drinking from God's quiet waters. In the midst of life's busyness and chaos, may you find solace and tranquility in God's presence. May the Holy Spirit lead you beside the still waters of God's peace, where you can find rest for your soul. Lord, I thank you for the green pastures and quiet waters that you provide for your beloved child. In times of weariness and unrest, may you find rest and refreshment in God's presence. May you lie down in the safety of God's care, knowing that God is the good shepherd who watches over your every step. Verse 3 of Psalm 23, He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. I pray for God's guidance and direction in life. May your soul be refreshed with God's presence, renewing your strength and vigor for the journey ahead. May the Lord lead you along the right paths, guiding you in the way of righteousness and truth. May your life bring glory to God's name, reflecting his goodness and faithfulness to all who see you. I pray for God's protection over you. Even as you walk in the darkest valleys of life, may you fear no evil, for God is with you. His rod and staff comfort you, guiding you through every trial and tribulation. May you feel warmth of God's embrace, shielding you from harm and danger. Verse 4 of Psalm 23 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I pray for God's protection and comfort over you. Even in the darkest valleys of life, may you fear no evil, for God is with you. Let your heart be filled with courage and faith, knowing that God's rod and his staff are there to guide and protect you. May you find comfort and strength in God's presence, trusting in God's unfailing love and care. Verse 5 of Psalm 23, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I thank you, Lord, for the abundance and blessings that you pour out upon your beloved child. 
The Lord prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies, showing you that God is your provider and protector. I pray that your cup may overflow with God's goodness and grace, filling you with joy and gratitude. The Lord anoints your head with oil and fill your cup to overflowing. May you experience the abundance of God's blessings and the richness of God's grace. May your cup run it over with God's goodness and mercy, filling you with joy and gratitude. Verse 6 of Psalm 23, Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I pray that you will experience the fullness of God's goodness and love each day of your life. May you dwell securely in God's presence, finding peace and contentment in knowing that you are a beloved child of God. May you abide in God's house forever, rejoicing in the eternal fellowship of His love. In God's mercy and grace, I place you under God's divine protection. May you dwell securely in the shadow of God's wings, finding refuge and strength in God's presence. May the Lord guard you from every danger, guide you in the paths of righteousness, and fill you with a peace that surpasses all understanding. I pray that God's goodness and love will follow you all the days of your life, May you dwell in God's house forever, experiencing the fullness of God's presence and the richness of God's blessings. May this prayer of protection envelope you in the loving arms of the Almighty, shielding you from every danger and guiding you safely through life's journeys. Standing on the promises of Psalm 91, we declare henceforth that we find solace and strength in the shelter of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray for you that as you declare these words and affirm your trust in God's unfailing protection and provision, knowing that He watches over you with unwavering love and care, so shall it be in Jesus' name. May you take refuge in his divine presence, standing firm against the schemes of the enemy with boldness and assurance. Isaiah 10 verse 27 proclaims liberation from the yoke of bondage and limitation through the anointing of the Holy Spirit. With each declaration, I break the chains that bind you, stepping into the freedom and victory that Christ has secured for you on the cross in the name of Jesus. From today, begin to declare these words. Affirm your authority as a son or daughter of the Most High empowered to overcome every obstacle and challenge in his name. I join you in faith and together we lift our voices in unity and faith, unleashing the power of God's word to dismantle every stronghold of witchcraft and spiritual oppression in your life. We wage war against the forces of darkness as you receive grace to be strengthened by the truth of God's promises and be emboldened by by the presence of his spirit within you may our prayers be like arrows piercing through the darkness and bringing forth light freedom and breakthrough in every area of your life in jesus name heavenly father i ask in the name of jesus that this one under the sound of my voice dwell in the shelter of the most high and abide under the shadow of the almighty even as i declared that the lord is your refuge and your fortress your god in whom you trust just as it is written in psalm 91 verses 1 to 2. may you take refuge in god's presence knowing that he is your protection and your defense against every attack of the enemy May you trust in his unfailing love and his mighty power to deliver you from the spirit of limitation that seeks to hold you back. Psalm 91 verses 3 to 4 says, 
Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the foul land, from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. I thank you, Lord, for your promise of deliverance and protection. Therefore, this ones take refuge in the shadow of your wings, knowing that you are their shelter in the midst of the storm. In Jesus' name. Beloved, I pray that you may declare His truth as your shield and your defense against every weapon formed against you. I declare that the yoke of limitation is broken in your life and the burden of oppression is lifted from your shoulders. By the power of a spirit that breaks yokes, you are set free from every chain that binds and you walk in the fullness of his grace and freedom as promised in Isaiah 10 verse 27 in Jesus name. Thank the Lord for your promise to break every yoke of bondage and to release everyone that comes to you from every spirit of limitation. Today may you receive his freedom and grace knowing that he has set you free indeed in Jesus name. I declare that you are no longer bound by the limitation of your past or the expectations of others. You are free to soar on the wings of God's Spirit to pursue your dreams and fulfill your destiny according to His perfect plan and purpose for your life. May you rise up with wings like eagles, running and not growing weary, walking and not fainting in Jesus' name. I declare that every curse and spell of limitation that has been spoken against you is broken and nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are covered by the blood and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. From today, you stand firm in the victory that he has won for you, knowing that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens you. I declare that you are under the covering of God's divine protection, safe and secure from the attacks of the enemy. As Psalm 91 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. I pray for you that as you take refuge in God, may the Lord shield you from every scheme and every strategy of witchcraft that seems to limit your potential and hinder your progress in Jesus' name. May you place your trust in God alone, knowing that God is your refuge and your strength. May your faith be strengthened that you stand firm against the spirit of limitation and walk in the freedom and victory that God has promised. Verse 3 of Psalm 91 says, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Lord, we thank you, Father, for your promise of deliverance from every trap and snare set by the enemy. I proclaim that you that is under the sound of my voice are broken free from the chains of limitation that bind you and you are set free to walk in the fullness of his purpose and destiny for your life. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. As verses 5 to 6 say, I declare that you are free from the fear and intimidation and tactics of the enemy. May the Lord empower you to resist every spirit of limitation and to walk boldly in the authority and power of God's Spirit in Jesus' name. Verse 7 says, A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Father, I thank you for your promise of protection in the midst of adversity and opposition. Today, my prayer is that the Lord will guard you from every attack of the enemy and fortify you with the strength and courage in Jesus' name. And you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall be for you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling according to verses 9 to 10 god will be your refuge and your fortress he will be your stronghold in times of trouble Isaiah 10 verse 12 says, For the Lord of hosts will have a day of reckoning against every one who is proud and lofty, and against every one who is lifted up, that he may be abased. 
I speak against and I bring down every spirit of pride and arrogance that exalts itself against God's will over these ones in the name of Jesus. May the Lord humble the hearts of those who seek to impose limitations on your life through witchcraft and bring them to repentance and submission to his authority. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. This is what Isaiah 10 verse 27 promises. And so I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord pours out his spirit upon you and anoint you with power and authority to break every chain that binds you and to walk in the freedom and victory that God has ordained for you for you. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness and unfailing love. Thank you, Lord, for your promises are yea and amen. These and much more are coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace with a heart burdened by the limitations imposed upon our lives by the spirit of witchcraft. We cry out to you, O Lord, for deliverance and freedom from every snare and trap set by the enemy to hinder our journey and obstruct our destiny. As we meditate on your word, may your promises of protection and liberation become a reality in our lives. Psalm 91, believe you me and trust in the name of the Lord that no matter how it rages, Jesus will see you through. So let's pray. Join me in declaring God's spiritual shelter over you. As we pray in the name that is above every your name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, I thank you because of your word is yea and amen. I thank you because you are always there for us. You said in your word that when we call upon you, you will hear us and answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so, Lord, we stand on the promises that are in Psalm 91 declaring that whatever fear that wants to overshadow us is dissipated and our trust is blossoming even as we believe you that you are with us. We acknowledge your sovereignty over all aspects of our existence. We declare that you remain the commander of the angelic forces and you are orchestrating protection in every facet of our journey. Father God, in the name of Jesus, just as Daniel found sanctuary in the lion's den, as you stopped the mouth of the enemy by allowing you, God Almighty, to be the lion of the tribe of Judah. And we know that even as we encounter experiences that are similar, you as the lion of the tribe of Judah, you are there protecting us. We take this moment to thank you for your unwavering provision that is always there for us, even in the times of lack, scarcity, like you gave Isaac. In the time of famine, Lord God, we see and we recognize that your dominion as the Jehovah Jireh, you are giving unto us all that we ask of. Lord, we come asking for anything that will have gone short of your calling that will prevent this answers to the prayers that we're delivering to you. The Lord, by the blood of the Lamb, that you cleanse us of them in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord God Almighty, that as we lift up everyone under the shadow, under the sound of my voice, asking for your protection and deliverance in their spiritual battle that they're facing right now. And I pray that your arm will be with them and strengthen them. We ask for those that are asking for wisdom, for the ways to go out of this problem and discernment to understand the crux of the problem. I ask the God Almighty, you firm them, you give them grace to understand and to be able to dismantle and entangle that confusion in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, because you're surrounding them with your heavenly host and you're guiding them with your angels. You're upholding them with your hands of righteousness so that they will not grow weary or lose heart even in the midst of the confusion. Father, we thank you because your promises 
that say whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I declare that God these ones they dwell and you remain their refuge and fortress. Lord, that we continually trust in you and you alone, Lord God Almighty, and not anyone else. Your wings provide a covering that no evil will breach. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that no weapon formed against them that will prosper. No peril, no calamity, no wasting, no destruction will touch them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit Divine, I thank you because you are equipping them from head to toe with the full armor as they understand the revelation of putting on the whole armor of God. Thank you because you're strengthening them to will the scripture just like Jesus did by countering Satan when he tempted him. Father, we are the reflection of Christ on earth and so we counter by the word of, the, of our testimony declaring the Lord every plan of the devil to cause confusion on our promises that we have held over the years concerning you is counted in the name of Jesus. We destroy every doubt and confusion. Thanking you, Lord God Almighty, for sharpening our spiritual senses to discern every deceit. We thank you because our eyes are seen beyond the normal. Our eyes of understanding are being enlightened as your angel armies, Lord God, are ready to fight for us in the name of Jesus. We thank you because, Lord God, you are establishing an impenetrable firewall and barriers that secure the areas of every one of us and the enemy would not have any plan and every strength to come through them. Father, we thank you because you are blinding every eye that is monitoring and projecting psychic attacks against your people by the fathers in the name of Jesus. Thank you because angels are counteracting every of the efforts in the name of Jesus. We bless your name, Lord God, because we thank you because you have given us greater revelation where generational roots have created vulnerabilities that the enemy is taking advantage of. Thank you because Lord God no longer are we allowing cracks for repetitive sins or cursed agreements that will pour out your mercy away from us. Thank you Lord God Almighty because we know that every channel of our spirit is opening up only to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name because you have done for us much more than we could even ask or think because we know you remain our sure foundation and we will not be moved acknowledging that in god we find security and lies uncertainty so let's pray father in the name of jesus i come before you today with a heart overflowing with gratitude and i praise you as my jehovah shama the lord who is present with me and Jehovah Adonai, my Lord and Master, who deserves all my thanksgiving and worship. Lord, accept this offering of praise and thanks today. May it be a sweet-smelling savor that draws your very presence to this prayer space in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to fill our hearts to overflow with your loving kindness and tender mercies. Attune our spiritual ears to hear your gentle whisper soften our souls to be quick to forgiving slow to anger and abounding in compassion towards all people just as you have abundantly forgiven us through christ we confess any bitterness and resentment we harbor towards anyone who may have hurt or offended us your word calls us to forgive others just as you have forgiven us of all our sins through jesus so today we choose to release and forgive those who have caused us harm I ask you to bless them instead of cursing. Please, Lord God, I ask, Lord, every chain of unforgiveness that only makes us miserable be released from us in the name of Jesus. Heal our wounds with balm of Gilead, set us free from anger and resentment that poisons our own souls. Fill our hearts with intercession for those we struggle to love. Give us your eyes to see our enemies as precious souls in need of your redeeming grace. Lord Jesus, we thank you for paying the ultimate price so we could be forgiven 
and set free will receive that costly gift of redemption through the cross today. We ask in the name of Jesus that you empower us now through your resurrection life and work that is within us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as I come before you today, lifting up your precious child that is under the sound of my voice in prayer. And I thank you, Lord, that you alone are their refuge and strength in times of trouble. I pray that you would be their ever-present help in every battle they face as you surround them by the mighty river of your peace that flows from the throne. Thank you because you're anchoring their mind securely on your unfailing love displayed through the cross, no matter what storms may rage around them. Lord God, you have said that your way is perfect and your word is flawless. So today we stand on the promises of Psalm 46 over the situation threatening to overwhelm your son and your daughter in Jesus' name. I declare your purpose and plans cannot be cut short for their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare you remain enthroned forever, exalted in the heavenlies, far above every other name or dominion that could oppose you. Emmanuel, you have told us that you are with us. As your name says, Lord, I declare that you are fighting for your children at every battle and at every step. Lord, I ask that you give us legions of your mighty angels to be released, that they may establish a hedge of flame and swords of fire around your daughters. In the name of Jesus, I ask that you station heavily armored tanks at parameter guard posts over their dwelling places. Set angelic snipers upon the roof of establishment to overwatch and protect every detail of their life. May angel generals be loosened throughout their neighborhood, securing the boundaries of their homes in the name of Jesus as I declare supernatural confusion into the enemy's communication and tactics, trying to assail your daughter or your son. All their plans, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, are hereby counseled and bound in the name of Jesus. Their assignments over your children is annulled by your precious blood. No weapon formed against them shall prosper because greater are you, Lord God, than the kingdoms of darkness that are waging war against them. Thank you, Lord, because you're surrounding and shielding them as they become overcomers by the host of heavenly invincible army this hour. And Lord, I stand in agreement upon the words of King David when he faced Goliath's threat in Psalm 23, verses 5 and 6. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely your goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And therefore I proclaim by faith and in agreement with everyone here that a banqueting table is spread for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I declare outpouring of favor and supernatural resources to be supplied at every point of their need. May manna from heaven fall afresh daily, Lord, you're supplying all of them for them. Ravens are dispatched even now to bring bread and meat in the wilderness for their sakes. Angels are loose to minister strength for each day for them. Joy and praise welled up within regardless of the circumstances, overflowing with thanksgiving for mighty deeds done on their behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I agree in the prayers because I know your resurrection power is demonstrated over your child's life right now even starting today, as you call Lazarus forth from the grave, so Lord, we call them out of hiding and fear into courage and the kingdom purpose. As you broke the curse declaring Lazarus, come forth. So also we reverse every curse sent to bind them. We break all agreements made with darkness from generations past. As you sent a way of escape for Lot from Sodom's judgment, so Lord God Almighty, you guarded them safely through the time of threatening judgment into a wide open place. May this valley of weeping become a door of hope for them, reviving their weary hands and trembling knees, that they may stand firm, clothed in your strength. Father God, we thank you because you are raising up a standard against every flood. The dragon pours out against them, and you alone are delivering and setting them free. I ask you for heavenly Father in the name of Jesus, 
that you open their eyes of revelation to see the angelic armies surrounding them now. Thank you because you are giving them glimpses of your majesty and glory. You are enlarging their faith exponentially in the knowledge of Christ's finished work at Calvary on their behalf. Lord, I thank you because they are walking in the victorious, overcoming identity of a royal son and daughter of the Most High seated eternally with Christ in the heavenly places. I bless them, Lord God, with your kingdom. I thank you, Lord, because you are blessing them with your kingdom purpose and confident hope and bold authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions from here and out. Thank you, Lord, because no weapon formed against them can stop your preordained plans. Because greater are you, O Lord, as you surround and shield every one of them in their battles. Father, we thank you because despite the rage and battle, Father, your manifest glory through their lives are seen daily in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because God Almighty, you are giving them courage. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. I Amen. pray that you will not be consumed by worry or envy over the actions of the wicked. Instead, I pray that you enjoy peace and contentment in presence of the Father. In Jesus' name, I pray that the schemes of the wicked over your life will come to nothing and their power will fade like the grass. In Jesus' name, may you dwell securely in the Lord's provision and find rest in His care. In Jesus' name, I pray that you find joy in the Lord and that your desire aligns with the will of the Father. In Jesus' name, I pray that your desires are granted as your heart align with the purposes and plans for the Father for your life. In Jesus' name, according to the Psalm 37 verse 4, Take delight in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. I commit your path to the Lord, trusting in His guidance and protection over your life. In Jesus' name, according to Psalm 37, verses 5 to 6, commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. May the Lord lead you in the way that you should go and bring about His purposes for your life. In Jesus' name, I pray that the justice and vindication of the Lord be brought against your enemies aiming to disrupt your life in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord keeps you from being overwhelmed with anxiety over the apparent success of the wicked. For according to Psalm 37 verse 9, For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope on the Lord will inherit the land. I declare Psalm 37 verse 10 over you. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. I declare that the wicked will not prevail no more over your life. In Jesus' name, I declare that they will untimely be brought to nothing. In Jesus' name, according to Psalm 37 verse 11. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. I pray that you walk in peace and prosperity. In Jesus' name, may you inherit the good of the land. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord protect you from the schemes of the wicked who seek to harm and undermine you. In Jesus' name, may you receive discernment to recognize the plots of the wicked and plans of the wicked. For according to Psalm 37 verse 13, But the Lord laughs at the wicked. For he knows their day is coming. You shall laugh at the plans of the wicked as the Lord laughs in Jesus' name. May you laugh because their day of reckoning has come. In Jesus' name, may you find comfort in the knowledge that the Lord is in control. I pray that the Lord protects you from the violence of the wicked. In Jesus' name, I declare Psalm 37 verse 15 over your enemies. But their surge will pierce their own hearts, and their bows be broken. In Jesus' name, I declare that the plans of the wicked backfire upon them. In Jesus' name, and may their weapons of destruction be turned against themselves. In Jesus' name, may you find contentment in the blessings the Lord provides for you. In Jesus' name, may you treasure the riches of the Lord's grace above all else. 
in Jesus' name, according to Psalm 37 verse 17, the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. I pray that the Lord upholds you. In Jesus' name, I declare the downfall of the wicked attacking you. In Jesus' name, I declare that the power be broken. In Jesus' name, I declare that you are strengthened to stand firm in the Lord's righteousness, knowing that he is your defender and our protector. May you take refuge in the care of the Lord according to Psalm 37 verse 18. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care and their inheritance will endure forever. I declare that your inheritance endures forever in Jesus' name according to Psalm 37 verse 19. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. I pray that the Lord sustains you in times of trial and difficulty and provide for your needs abundantly i declare that you laugh at famine and destruction in jesus name i speak psalm 37 verse 20 over your enemies the wicked will perish though the lord's enemies are like the flowers in the field they will be consumed they will go up in smoke in jesus name i pray the righteous judgment of god over the wicked over and around you in jesus name i pray that you are blessed with the inheritance of the lord in jesus name according to psalm 37 verse 22 those the lord blesses will inherit the land i declare that the lord's favor rests upon you in jesus name i pray that the lord will protect you from the destruction that comes upon those who reject the ways of the lord and oppose his kingdom in jesus name according to psalm 37 verse 23 the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. I pray that the Lord guides your steps and establish your path as you delight in him. In Jesus' name, may you walk in alignment with the will of the Father, having confidence in his leading and protection. In Jesus' name, I speak Psalm 37 verse 24 over you. Though you may stumble, you will not fall, for the Lord upholds you with his hands. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord will not forsake you and your family. In Jesus' name, according to Psalm 37 verse 25, I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. According to Psalm 37 verse 26, they are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. I declare that you are generous and lend freely in Jesus' name. May your life and your actions be a blessing to others both now and for generations to come in jesus name i pray that your life be a reflection of righteousness and may you dwell securely in the lord's presence forever in, in the name of jesus as psalm 100 exhorts i enter your gates with thanksgiving because you alone are good merciful and mighty to save i praise your name from the everlasting to everlasting for your faithful covenant love endures for every generation who seeks your face. You listening to me today, I clothe you in resplendent armor of praise and gratitude as weapons against the assault you feel raging against your mind and circumstances. In the name of Jesus, as the word of God declares, we will be upheld as we exhort him. When we magnify his majesty through declaring who he is, evil loses its grip to terrify as you focus on the goodness of god instead of the enemy's threat perspective shifts from panic to power in your life in the mighty name of jesus i pray at this moment that the holy ghost awakens you to joy that energizes and unites joy the scattered darkness releases freedom songs rising from within that silence, the cruel taskmasters of depression and despair has given you. I declare that you will impart garments of praise in place of fainting hearts burdened beyond bearing in your life. For he came to set captives free to turn mourning into dancing again. And in the name of Jesus, the truth remains that gratitude and worship position our heart to receive fresh revelation and renewed strength just like the widow of Zarephath who offered up her last scraps of food to feed God's prophet Elijah, 
Asking for nothing though facing starvation. Through radical generosity springing from worship, our flour and oil jars were miraculously sustained through our drought and farming. Like the Lord did for the widow of Zarephath, may he stir up faith in you to give thanks in advance for provisions on the way. And may he increase expectancy to see his hand shift circumstances as perspective lifts to the unseen in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that as you walk through the valley of shadows, anxiety and uncertainty lurking around, he, God, will anoint you and your household afresh in his lavish grace pour out from joy's wells, overflowing even amidst suffering. In Acts 16, 23, the beloved apostle Paul rejoiced in prison chains with Silas until an earthquake shook open the jail cells. Out of the audacious 3 a.m. worship arose opportunities for jailer salvation and citywide revival just like he did then. I pray for you that God releases you from the fetters that the enemy has held you captive in, in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy seeks breath-stealing distractions when holy affection and focus lock solely on God. But I come against assignments of depressions, oppression, Deception and all weapons formed against your identity, family, finances, health and home this day. Through Christ, all curses aimed against you are reversed, rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So by the power bestowed upon me from above, I clothe you in the garments of God's protection, proclaiming His great rescue in generations long past and His present darkness. For God makes a way where there seems to be no way. I bring to my Exodus story God's mighty deliverance of the Israelites from slavery through ten plagues displaying his supremacy over false gods and arrogant rulers. Also at the Red Sea with Pharaoh's chariots approaching, worship broke open corridors of redemption. As Moses lifted songs of accent, Waters parted for the Israelites to walk across miraculously. And like God did for the Israelites, I ask that in the name of Jesus, that he parts every Red Sea, hindering you from reaching your promised land. I want you to believe, my dear friend, that through eyes of faith instead of earthly vision, take heart knowing that the psalm sing of one enthroned forever who has inclined his ears towards the cry of the righteous. Let his banner of love and presence wave over you. As you call upon his name, taking every thought captive through profound gratitude that no trial can thwart his purpose in your life. The testing of your faith produces perseverance to finish the race. You are his workmanship unto glory. The teacher remains by your side, saying gently, in darkest night, peace but still. Soon you will see his wondrous grace transforming weeping into good news testimony is saving many lives through your compassion learned in lonely wilderness just watch so sing with the songs of Korah in Psalm 84 how lovely are your dwelling places O Lord a day spent closer to your heart beats flying in worldly kingdoms blessed are those strengthened along pilgrim roads towards your temple gate longing to dwell in places with you even in this back of valley of weeping, you rain and spring soaked parched ground till pools of joy overflow, again reflecting your face. Glory upon glory wells up within heart, yearning for home, whispering finishing songs. Be still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Worship lifts burdens to bear more blessings. Under that same ordinance, I declare, that the Lord God will navigate you through storms, anchoring your souls onto an eternal anchor of awe in His glory, reflected in unexpected and holy beauty all around. May the Lord open your eyes to see glimpses of eternity echoing through saints, enduring great trials, yet singing of victory already near. Let His living water flow freely to nourish and electrify until they can leave and bad his kingdom come despite piercing arrows seeking to destroy you. So I proclaim Psalm 100 loudly unto every demonic attack, trying to sink you down. Clap your hands, all you nations, burst forth 
with singing joyfully to God. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. I thank the Lord for his faithful and unfailing love through every generation stories in his book. We are his people, sheep of his pasture. So enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praises, bless his name. His mercies never end, his steadfast love spans eternities. And so I declare Jesus the same yesterday today and forevermore. I decree stillness into your groans through this generation's chaos and confusion. May the Lord assure you that these troubles produce perseverance to endure, for joy comes in the morning. He will strengthen you to fix your eyes not on seen things, but on unseen things in the name of Jesus. So I prophesy life and joy into your life. My friend, I break you free of ghostly chains that keep you hostage from kingdoms of freedom, renewal and revelation waiting to excel through availability often humbly and honestly back to God. May all mortal shackles of time lose hold over your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for answered prayers. Thank you because we know that your children are victorious even in the midst of life's trials and tribulations we will continue to exalt your name lord so we say praise be unto you god almighty let everything that has breath praise the name of the lord in the mighty name of jesus i come before you almighty father jehovah jireh i come before your throne of grace today and asking for grace to intercede on behalf of your child in Christ who feels under intense spiritual attack from the forces of evil. These people feel surrounded by adversaries without cause, enemies seeking their downfall. And so, Lord, like David crying out in Psalm 35, they need you to take up a shield and spare and say to their soul, I am your salvation. David's struggles reminds us of Job's immense suffering at the hands of Satan, all that he feared coming to pass in one excruciating test of faith. Though Job lost everything and endured terrible illness and false accusations from friends, still he refused to curse the Lord's name. Job 1 verse 20 to 22 explained further. In his darkest valley shattered by death's grief, and the grave's despair still Job trusted in God. Again and again he demonstrated righteousness in calamities refined in fire, crying, Though you slay me, still will I hope in you. I pray you on the siege that the Lord will fight against every false and accusing voice just the same in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will teach you as Job proclaimed, I know that my Redeemer lives as Christ hung suffering shamefully on the cross under jeers from crowds and rulers alike, he demonstrated greatest obedience under fire, perfectly righteous yet crushed for the sins of all mankind. Still Jesus prayed over his persecutors in Luke 23, 34 saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I pray that God would transform your situation so that you can trust him more through your struggle, not hardened by injustice. The will imbibe in you the spirit to forgive your enemies that libelous by the examples of Job, David and Christ Jesus, our ultimate example. I proclaim his promise in Psalm 35 over you and your life today in the name of Jesus. And I say, Lord, contend with those who contend with your child. Fight against those who fight against your child. Take up shield and armor, arise and come to their aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue them. Say to them, I am your salvation. The Lord God will hear your cry for help and bring justice against those attacking you with our cause in the name of Jesus. He will harking his judgment and set his righteous cause against the aim to ruin and devour with our bases. He will put to shame those who rejoice when you stumble. May their own schemes prove their downfall in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord said, No weapon formed against you and your loved ones shall prosper in Jesus' name. The Lord will surround you by his angel armies hovering overhead. 
where there is disturbance in any area of your life, seeking to wreak havoc on you and your loved ones, he will dispatch his heavenly armies to stand guard at your house day and night. He will raise up allies and spiritual mentors to stand guard. And I pray that the Lord will give you the spirit of discernment when to take dominion in Jesus' authority to calm the storm and when to be still waiting on him to fight for you. He will hearken to you and also hearken to angel armies awaiting battle commands to subdue your unseen enemies. May you claim the helmet of salvation to guard your thoughts and minds in Christ Jesus. You will walk by faith and not fear to resist oppression through righteousness. When anxiety rises, take every thought captive to obey you. I uproot all doubt tormenting you when you cannot trace your hand and I silence all lies screaming. You are forsaken in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare that the Lord will turn your wailing into dancing in the mighty name of Jesus as I also decree the praise that scatters the darkness will fill you up in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will impart in you everlasting joy and gladness instead of sorrow. He will restore your childlike trust to call upon his name and be saved from all distress. May you rest safely under his wings that drive away all the devil's distress and schemes in the name of Jesus. As provided in Colossians 2 verses 14 to 15, the law will burn up recorded accusations seeking to hold you hostage to pass since long surrendered at the cross. I cancel contracts with iniquity through the blood that speaks mercy, not judgment over your life in the name of Jesus. And I cast down vain imaginations and boastous threats that exhaust themselves against the true knowledge of Christ in your life. Though a thousand fall by your side, the law will put to flight every arrow directed at you so you may testify of his triumph again and again. I pray that as you walk through the season on the siege, God will anchor your mind on Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He alone is the stronghold of your life. He will teach you to declare in faith. For in the day of trouble, he will hide me under the cover of his tent and set me high upon the rock. Though war break out against you, still will you trust in him. I claim victory over depression and anxiety through focus on God's goodness and sustaining grace over your life. And I pray that he imparts strength to your soul, so despair finds no toehold. And I uproot all lies that torment your thoughts in the name of Jesus. The Lord would use every unjust attack to refine righteousness and renew perspective till your confidence remains not delivered from trials but through you by his sufficient grace. I pray that God will deliver you from the traps and snares set by the evil one and those used by darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. He will turn every weapon formed against you into opportunity to testify of his great faithfulness. I silence the voice of accuser and false counsel seeking to misguide you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will unveil true allies and speak truths to withstand evil fortex all oh, in Jesus' name. I decree that the Lord will raise up warriors on your behalf to stand guard day and night helping you. He will build hedges of Holy Spirit fire around all that concerns you that no plague may penetrate your home in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the authority bestowed upon me above, I establish God's angelic host to guard you night and day as you agree with me in the name of Jesus. He will give you revelation to command heavenly hosts to battle and I awaken you to his power and presence ever before behind and beside you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will grant you the grace to forgive every trespasser even persecutors and wound inflictors, that through righteousness you may dwell under his mercy and loving protection. He helps you walk blamelessly to receive his defense. He will cleanse you daily through the Holy Spirit's purifying fire and his word, which is truth. He will anchor your identity firmly in the Holy Ghost, so no labels or limiting threats bind them. And Lord, I proclaim God's faithfulness upon everyone under the sound of my voice as your shield and defender. He will never leave nor forsake you. As you wait upon him, he will renew your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I pray Psalm 35 fully manifested in your life. Vindication and justice against true enemies while mercy triumphs through tears and trials. He will bring to light every enemy schemes at work behind the scenes so you may rise empowered by truth. Then he will lead you to bless and not curse those used by darkness. Through it all, he will be your deepest refuge, trust and hope. This I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that makes demons tremble and mountains bow down. Standing on the promises of Psalm 91, we declare henceforth that we find solace and strength in the shelter of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray for you that as you declare these words and affirm your trust in God's unfailing protection and provision, knowing that He watches over you with unwavering love and care, so shall it be in Jesus' name. May you take refuge in His divine presence, standing firm against the schemes of the enemy with boldness and assurance. Isaiah 10 verse 27 proclaims liberation from the yoke of bondage and limitation through the anointing of the Holy Spirit. With each declaration, I break the chains that bind you, stepping into the freedom and victory that Christ has secured for you on the cross in the name of Jesus. From today, begin to declare these words. Affirm your authority as a son or daughter of the Most High empowered to overcome every obstacle and challenge in his name. I join you in faith and together we lift our voices in unity and faith, unleashing the power of God's word to dismantle every stronghold of witchcraft and spiritual oppression in your life. We wage war against the forces of darkness as you receive grace to be strengthened by the truth of God's promises and be emboldened by the presence of a spirit within you. May our prayers be like arrows piercing through the darkness and bringing forth light, freedom and breakthrough in every area of your life in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that this one under the sound of my voice dwell in the shelter of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty, even as I declared that the Lord is your refuge and your fortress, your God in whom you trust, just as it is written in Psalm 91 verses 1 to 2. May you take refuge in God's presence, knowing that He is your protection and your defense against every attack of the enemy. May you trust in His unfailing love and His mighty power to deliver you from the spirit of limitation that seeks to hold you back. Psalm 91 verses 3 to 4 says, Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowl and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. I thank you, Lord, for your promise of deliverance and protection. Therefore, these ones take refuge in the shadow of your wings, knowing that you are their shelter in the midst of the storm. In Jesus' name. Beloved, I pray that you may declare His truth as your shield and your defense against every weapon formed against you. I declare that the yoke of limitation is broken in your life and the burden of oppression is lifted from your shoulders. By the power of a spirit that breaks yokes, you are set free from every chain that binds and you walk in the fullness of His grace and freedom as promised in Isaiah 10 verse 27 in Jesus' name. Thank the Lord for your promise to break every yoke of bondage and to release everyone that comes to you from every spirit of limitation. Today, may you receive His freedom and grace knowing that He has set you free indeed in Jesus' name. I declare that you are no longer bound by the limitations of your past or the expectations of others. You are free to soar on the wings of God's Spirit to pursue your dreams and fulfill your destiny according to His perfect plan and purpose for your life. May you rise up with wings like eagles, running and not growing weary, walking and not fainting in Jesus' name. 
I declare that every curse and spell of limitation that has been spoken against you is broken and nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are covered by the blood and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. From today, you stand firm in the victory that he has won for you, knowing that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens you. I declare that you are under the covering of God's divine protection, safe and secure from the attacks of the enemy. As Psalm 91 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. I pray for you that as you take refuge in God, may the Lord shield you from every scheme and every strategy of witchcraft that seems to limit your potential and hinder your progress in Jesus' name. May you place your trust in God alone, knowing that God is your refuge and your strength. May your faith be strengthened that you stand firm against the spirit of limitation and walk in the freedom and victory that God has promised. Verse 3 of Psalm 91 says, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. Lord, we thank you, Father, for your promise of deliverance from every trap and snare set by the enemy. I proclaim that you that is under the sound of my voice are broken free from the chains of limitation that bind you and you are set free to walk in the fullness of his purpose and destiny for your life. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. As verses 5 to 6 say, I declare that you are free from the fear and intimidation and tactics of the enemy. May the Lord empower you to resist every spirit of limitation and to walk boldly in the authority and power of God's Spirit in Jesus' name. Verse 7 says, A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Father, I thank you for your promise of protection in the midst of adversity and opposition. Today, my prayer is that the Lord will guard you from every attack of the enemy and fortify you with his strength and courage in Jesus' name. And you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place, no evil shall be for you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling according to verses 9 to 10 god will be your refuge and your fortress he will be your stronghold in times of trouble Isaiah 10 verse 12 says, For the Lord of hosts will have a day of reckoning against every one who is proud and lofty, and against every one who is lifted up, that he may be abased. I speak against and I bring down every spirit of pride and arrogance that exalts itself against God's will over these ones in the name of Jesus. May the Lord humble the hearts of those who seek to impose limitations on your life through witchcraft and bring them to repentance and submission to his authority. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. This is what Isaiah 10 verse 27 promises. And so I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord pours out his spirit upon you and anoints you with power and authority to break every chain that binds you and to walk in the freedom and victory that God has ordained for you. For you. Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness and unfailing love. Thank you, Lord, for your promises, I yea and amen. These and much more are coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace with a heart burdened by the limitations imposed upon our lives by the spirit of witchcraft. We cry out to you, O oh Lord, for deliverance and freedom from every snare and trap set by the enemy to hinder our journey and obstruct our destiny. As we meditate on your word, may your promises of protection and liberation become a reality in our lives. Psalm 70 says, Hasten, O God, to save me. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. This verse resonates with the urgency we may feel in safeguarding our homes. Hence, 
prayer in this context transforms into a swift and earnest communication with the Almighty, invoking his immediate intervention. The art and tone of Psalm 70 makes us to understand that prayer is a dynamic tool capable of summoning God's protective hand at the very moment we need it. This urgency underscores the relevance of persistent and fervent prayer as a defensive mechanism for our homes. So join me today as we explore the transformative power of prayer, drawing inspiration from Psalm 46, 51 and 70. We glean from these passages that our prayers are not met with indifference. Instead, they elicit God's prompt response. So today, I want you to trust that like God led Noah's people to safety, he will do the same for your household if you adhere faithfully to God's instructions and pray fervently. So in the name of Jesus, El Elohim, El Shaddai, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude, exalting your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for the countless blessings you shower upon us each day. As we enter into this sacred moment of prayer, I invite your divine presence to fill the space. I actively choose God's flawless path for your home, inviting his protective shield over your household in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I know that you are with me. And Lord God, I declare that your presence will be felt in the midst of this prayer. May your spirit move in the space, guiding my thoughts and words as I acknowledge your greatness and sovereignty and I lift my voice in praise. May your love sustain everyone listening and may your grace redeem them, especially those that have not understood and known you. And I ask that as they bow their hearts, asking you and receiving you, Jesus Christ, that you will translate them from the kingdom of darkness even into light as they join us in this prayer. And I ask that may this prayer be a sweet fragrance unto you, Lord, and may your presence bring peace, comfort, and wisdom to your child's heart. Psalm 51 verse 10 says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Through prayer we seek not only pardon, but also a steadfast spirit, a spirit grounded in righteousness and resilience, fortifying our homes against the assaults of the enemy. I beseech the Almighty God, to grant to you forgiveness of all your knowingly and unknowingly committed sins and trespasses. May the Lord search our heart now for any areas not pleasing in his sight. May he reveal any footholds where the enemy could access your dwelling place. As we completely lay down our sins and shortcomings at the Lord's feet, knowing he will forgive and cleanse us completely. I purge every room by the power of Christ's blood, and I close demonic doors as we renew our submissions to your ways, Lord Jesus. Thank you because you are fortifying the homes of your child on the solid foundation of holiness, truth, and repentance before you in the name of Jesus. Father, I come before you lifting up the home of your child that is listening to me today and I look to you as our refuge and strength and ever-present help in times of trouble. We acknowledge you as our refuge without and throughout generations, a secure dwelling place that cannot be shaken even when earth gives way. And so today I declare Psalm 46 over the household of your child. God, you remain this refuge and strength and ever-present help in tr trouble. Therefore, you will not be afraid, you that is under the sound of my voice. And I want you to say with the psalmist, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love and compassion. Wash away my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Under this ordinance, I pray the Lord will strengthen your commitment to walk uprightly through the power of His Spirit living within you. He will train your hands for spiritual warfare against any forces wishing to access your home and defile it. And like a shepherd, the Lord will take watch over your house. 
as I decree that like Daniel's den and the prison where Peter was held captive, your home will become an arena where God's supernatural shield guards you and your son and your household against both visible and unseen adversaries. Through this prayer, I invite God's presence to encycle your dwelling and transform it into fortresses impervious to the schemes of the enemy. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I lift my voice in prayer, affirming my belief in the divine security of the Almighty. Upon that promise, I decree the divine security encompasses your home, safeguarding your home from every threat and danger looming over it in the name of Jesus. I declare that the Lord God, who faithfully protected people in the ancient days, who remains the same yesterday in the name of Jesus, and Jesus who has defeated fear from the cross and on the cross, that same God that made Israelites' clothes last for 40 years of wilderness will preserve and multiply all your household's provision. He who rescued baby Moses from infanticide watch closely over all babies and children in your home. He will provide manna freely from heaven and he will be your daily bread and living water. Like he sent ravens to feed Elijah in the wilderness. I declare that he will meet every of your needs in the name of Jesus. I declare that he who guarded Daniel in the lion's den, he will send his guardian angel to protect each of your rooms and inhabitation. He will keep your house liberated like he broke Peter's chain in prison. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will open your eyes to see angel armies encamping around your property day and night. I thank you, Father, for your faithful love and care for generation to generation, even as I know that the, we have redemption through the blood of Jesus. I thank you because the Holy Spirit is already creating firewalls around their homes. And I thank you, Lord, because your angels are there detecting and stopping any security bridge or attacks over each of their homes in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are giving us wisdom to protect the young under us and under our care from various threats that may face them in the rage. In the name of Jesus, with thanksgiving, I have said all of these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares deeply for you. Our good shepherd stands ready to lift you up and carry you through raging rivers. His grace will never fail. Let's enter God's presence now in prayer. As we lift up our struggles up to our compassionate Father, He promises strength to help us and hold us upright. We need not fear what looms ahead, for the battle belongs to Him. If He is for us, who can be against us? Let us pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we come to you. Almighty God, our refuge and strength, we enter the sacred moment with confidence, recognizing your unwavering power and boundless protection. You are our fortress, a present help in times of trouble, and in your shelter we find solace. As we meditate on the words of Psalm 46, our hearts resonate with the truth that even when the earth quakes and mountains crumble, your steadfast presence remains unshaken. Heavenly Father, I call upon you with names that echo your divine attributes. El Shaddai, the Almighty, Jehovah Nisi, our banner of victory. In the quiet of this prayer, we bask in your unyielding sovereignty and take refuge beneath the shadow of your wings. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you forgive us for moments when we doubted and allow doubt to creep into us, overshadowing your promises. Grant us the confidence to face life storms, knowing that in you we are more than conquerors. May our trust in your power inspire unwavering faith and lead us to declare with conviction 
The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. In this assurance, we stand firm anchored in the confidence that nothing can separate us from your love. Heavenly Father, I come before you lifting up those listening to this prayer and I trust that whatever tough time, turmoil and uncertainty that shake their confidence and fill them with fear, you are with them. Today I pray that you infuse their spirit with a powerful encouragement of Psalm 46 that assures us that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. Lord, you are our refuge and strength and ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with its surging. Give your children the strength to stay steadfast on your love. I reflect today, Matthew 8, 23-27, when Jesus and his disciples got into a boat and suddenly a furious storm came up with waves sweeping over the boat but jesus was sleeping soundly until his disciples woke him up crying lord save us we're going to drown jesus simply replied you of little faith why are you so afraid then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves and all was completely calm again lord like the disciples facing storms that threatened to overwhelm them as they followed you. We call upon you, Jesus. Your children feel pounded by raging winds and rising waters, fearful of sinking beneath life's pressures that seem beyond control. We ask that you renew their confidence through Christ's presence in their vessel, hearing his voice gently saying, Peace but still, over the howling gales. Father, we ask that you remind them that you have power over every force of nature, calamity, illness or need, so they can trust you even when it feels like there's sheep make up size. As the psalmist exclaims, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the Holy Spirit where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. O oh God, let your living water flow through your children's soul. Secure their identity in you so they will not be shaken in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that in the midst of whatever spiritual earthquakes, societal eruptions, family floods or health hurricanes that may batter them, you will anchor their mind on your unfailing presence, holding them steady through it all. Lord, I claim the promise of Isaiah 41.10 for those struggling today. Fear not. For I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Thus says the Lord. And Lord, we ask that you remind them that they can be still and know that you are God as they cease striving under their own power and lean into your embrace. May they be renewed by intimacy with you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I proclaim the encouragement of Psalm 112 over the lives of your children today, they will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. O oh Lord, I ask that you will build their trust muzzle through each wave of life storms, that they may withstand flooding without wavering. Help them rest like the disciples did, even amidst raging winds, sometimes sleeping in your sovereignty, but always safe in your salvation. I declare Psalm 46. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall, God lifts his voice and the earth melts. It says, be still and know that I am God and Father above every and any alarm blaring through news headlines or social media feeds. Help your children hear your gentle whisper. I ask that as you quiet the cacophony of chaos around and the anxiety within, speak peace but still to your children's soul until they know the blessed relief that they will experience from believing in you in the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, you have proven your power and protection for your people throughout history. Daniel survived the lion's den unharmed. The Hebrew boys emerged from the furnace without even smelling like smoke and your angels shut the mouths of lions around and Daniel in the pit. Like you did for them, protect your children 
that are struggling by removing them from the storms they face as they call upon you, Jesus. Teach them to trust you in the midst of the storm. Show them that if they keep their eyes on you, they can walk even on water through life's battering rains. I pray your children grasp this promise from Isaiah 43 today. Fear not for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. For I am the Lord your God. As they pass through deep waters in their health, family, job or relationships, Carry them safely in your loving arms so that they do not sink in despair's swirling tides. Lord, the more the nations and rulers of the day rage and tumble stairs, remind your children that your kingdom cannot be shaken. All the schemes of humanity cannot thwart your plans nor block the light of Christ from penetrating the deepest darkness in our world and in their personal night. You reign through it all. Speak that truth resoundingly within until their confidence in your loving power drowns out any voices of anxiety, depression or uncertainty clamoring in their minds. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that as it is written in Psalm 46, assure your children that you are their fortress, shield and strength. As you fight for them, Lord, give them grace to be still. After this season of sickness, grief, loss or hardship passes, may they proclaim with the psalmist, He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bows and shatters the spears. He burns the shields with fire. You alone can bring peace and healing to every broken place. Father, we thank you because you are reminding them that if they dwell in your shelter, no evil shall befall them. And as they trust and obey, find them refuge under your wings, no plague will come near their home. I thank you because as they lift their eyes beyond the weapons forming against them to see your angels army surrounding and chariots of fire protecting them, they will stand firm in your word. Lord, I thank you as we close this prayer asking that despite what raging storms, societal strife or personal heartache your children face, they know that the battle belongs to you. Thank you for renewing the strength and encouraging them to trust you through it all so that one day they will look back on valleys that felt overwhelming and proclaim redemption story with joy by your great power working through those trials. Thank you because their faith in your triumph has grown and I know that they will proclaim with boldness and confidence that you are their God and an ever-present one who never leaves nor forsakes them. Thank you, almighty God. We know you have perfected it. You, Jesus, as the Prince of Peace, for it is in Jesus' name that we have prayed. I declare that the dangers surrounding you will lose power to inflict harm in Jesus' name. May the righteous anger of the Lord cause the earth to tremble and the mountains to quake, instilling confusion among your enemies as stated in Psalm 18 verse 5, the earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. I pray that his righteous anger acts as a shield around you, guarding you from harm. In Jesus' name, I declare that the torrents of destruction threatening to overwhelm you will cease in Jesus' name. Even when ensnared by the traps of the enemy and surrounded by the shadows of death, I declare that you will remain unshaken in Jesus' name. I declare that your steps are kept steady by the Lord's guidance, and I pray that he prevents your feet from stumbling or faltering. Just as the psalmist proclaimed in Psalm 18 verse 37 to 38, I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. I pray that the Lord goes before you in battle and grants you victory over your adversaries. With the Lord's strength and guidance, may you relentlessly pursue your enemies until they are defeated. May you crush your foes underfoot and render them powerless by the divine strength invested in you. I declare that the power of God is evident in your life as you stand victorious over every adversary. Psalm 18 verse 39 declares, You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. 
I declare that your adversaries are humbled and bow down before the mighty hand of the Lord. At the command of the Lord, I declare that your enemies flee in terror and I declare victory over them as stated in Psalm 18 verse 40. You made my enemies turn their backs in flight, and I destroyed my foes. I pray that the glory of the Lord is revealed as you triumph over every obstacle and adversity in your path in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord envelops you in the wings of his protection, lifting you above the dangers of this world in Jesus' name. May you perceive him as your light and salvation even in the darkest of times may the lord serve as a covering for you shielding you from the enemy's schemes and enveloping you in the shelter of his love may his presence shine brightly in your life illuminating your path and scattering darkness just as psalm 18 verse 12 describes out of the brightness of his presence clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning may the radiance of the lord drive away foe with bolts of lightning and hailstones in jesus name may the sound of god's voice over your life bring protection instilling fear in the hearts of your enemies as psalm 18 verse 13 illustrates the Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. May the Lord scatter your enemies with his powerful arrows and bolts of lightning as stated in Psalm 18 verse 14. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy with great bolts of lightning. He routed them. I declare that your enemies will flee from you in terror in every direction according to Psalm 18 verse 15. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundation of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. May the Lord rebuke every threat against you, exposing and rendering them ineffective in Jesus' name. May the breath of life from the Father sustain you in times of trouble. In Jesus' name, I pray that you move forward with your understanding that the Lord is your source of strength and the guardian of your journey. As Psalm 18 verse 32 affirms, It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. May the Lord clothe you with his might and keep you secure in his love. I declare that you walk with confidence knowing that the Lord is beside you every step of the way. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 33, He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. I pray that the Lord empowers you to navigate life's challenges with agility and grace. May your feet be firmly planted on the heights of God's promises where you can stand in victory and offer praise to His holy name. According to Psalm 18 verse 34, He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. I pray that the Lord equips you for spiritual battles you encounter each day. May He strengthen your hands for warfare and empower you to wield the weapons of righteousness with skill and precision in times of trouble. I pray that the Lord serves as your refuge and shield sustaining you with his right hand and lifting you up as Psalm 18 verse 35 declares I declare that the Lord's assistance in your life elevates you in the eyes of your adversaries according to Psalm 18 verse 36 you provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way I pray that the Lord smooths the path before you making a way where there seems to be no way as Psalm 18 verse 41 states, They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I pray that when your enemies cry out, their pleas remain on air because they have rejected the ways of the Lord and the fighters' commands. I pray that their cries for help go unanswered and they face the consequences of their rebellion. May your adversaries be scattered like chaff before the wind and may you trample them underfoot like mud in the streets. Just as the psalm is described in Psalm 18 verse 42, I beat them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trampled them like mud in the streets. 
I pray that justice prevails as your oppressors are crushed and you are vindicated. I pray that you are strengthened inwardly by the Spirit of God and that your faith is fortified, enabling you to stand firm in the truth of God's word. As Psalm 18 verse 17 states, He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. I implore you to deliver me from the snares of the adversary. May every darkness seeking to consume you be dispelled in Jesus' name. May the path of righteousness illuminate before you. And may the angels of the Lord surround you, encamping around you as a shield against the attacks of the enemy. I pray that the Lord grants you discernment to recognize the schemes of the evil one and wisdom to navigate through them victoriously. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I come to you today lifting up your child who is feeling overwhelmed by spiritual attacks coming against their life, family and home. As this new year begins, they desire to claim the promises of Psalm 91 that whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in your shadow, protected under your wings. I ask for your supernatural hedge or protection to surround and defend them. And as they receive Jesus, I ask that as they have the reality that is in the power of the name of Jesus, I join my force with them to take authority in the name of Jesus over every demonic entity targeting their homes, loved ones, finances, health, home and possessions. I proclaim the Lord's promise in Psalm 91 that no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your dwelling. I assign the Lord's angels to guard your house and property day and night. The Lord will purify your home with his holy fire and anointing just as he instructed his priest to cleanse the Old Testament temple with sacrifices and celebration to recommit the sacred spaces back to his purposes. I decree by the virtue of what Jesus did on the cross that Jesus' name, his presence will visit every room and possession even in your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the law will expose any cursed object given the enemy legal access or foothold in your home. He will reveal generational weakness where your family needs healing. The law will shut every doorway to darkness in the name of Jesus. I declare that the law will come against the Jezebel and Ahab spirits manifesting through manipulation, intimidation, control and emasculation attacking relationships in your life. I ask that the Lord will break agreements made as we stand in agreement with you and I in the name of Jesus that every agreement made by ancestors or other granting evil jurisdiction in your life in the name of Jesus is broken. I declare that you are released from the soul ties feeding oppression and I tear down spiritual strongholds in your ancestral line and declare every enemy agenda be demolished in your life by Christ's finished work in Calvary, which you have accepted. And I declare that no weapon formed against you will prosper. I pray for you today that the Lord has forgiven you of all of your sins as you have confessed him as your Lord and your Savior. He will resolve offenses breeding unforgiveness, bitterness and judgment in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare that the Lord cleanses you with his high soap and every attachment clouding your soul from walking in freedom and wholeness of the reality of your redemption. And I pray that the Lord purges your resentment, poison in perspective and turns your stony heart back to feel tillable for his word. In the name of Jesus, I uproot every judgment, angry and prideful spirit from your life even in the name of Jesus. I declare that Abba Father will help you walk in obedience to his command and prevent the schemes of darkness over your life. The Lord will guard your hearts from lust and your hands from wickedness. He will give you discernment to recognize evil present and courage to set unhealthy boundaries. He will teach you how to pray for and actively bless your enemies instead of cursing them. I decree that God will raise up intercessors so stand in God for you specifically against every witchcraft staring against your life, family, lineage and home this year. 
Lord, your word declares in James 4, 7, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw near to you. Under that ordinance, I declare the Lord will help everyone under the sound of my voice through this prayer as they surrender and tap into the life-shifting resurrected power of Jesus Christ. The Satan is defeated, stripped of all authority over your life. I declare you awaken to the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and his kind guidance out of confusion into discernment and strategies of victory. I pray that Jesus continues to intercede continuously in your life so that your faith may not fail and he ignites the fire of a spiritual warrior within you. I declare that you will lead into deeper surrendering through trials anchored yourself as God has delivered you. I decree it upon you that the Lord God cuts off a Simon's whisper in death, disaster and uncertainty even in your life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we speak wholeness into the mind of everyone under the sound of my voice, the body and relationships. Thank you, Jesus, for continuously interceding for us. And thank you because we receive by faith every of your intercession, knowing that we are victorious because of your resurrection. Thank you for teaching us to wield the sword of the Spirit. And wisdom is leading and guiding us against every attack of the enemy. Blessed be unto your name because you've answered every of our prayers and we have victory in your name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Father, we come before you with a humble heart. Our creator, the one that is divine, that knows everything. We cannot hide from you. We come even with thanksgiving, overflowing with gratitude, knowing that you will not leave us alone because in your mercy you have forgiven our transgressions and the missteps that takes us from our part. Merciful Redeemer, your forgiveness had remained the balm that heals our souls. And so we thank you in advance, O loving Shepherd, for the gentle guidance that through every valley and for the ceaseless grace that covers our shortcomings, you've been with us. As we offer our praises, may the melody of gratitude resound in the chambers of heaven, in the precious name of Jesus. O oh God, your child and I come before you struggling with feelings of envy and jealousy, a heart filled with bitterness and distraction, hindering him or her from living in your light. Like the psalmist Asaph in Psalm 73, we sometimes feel tempted to envy the arrogant when we see the prosperity of the wicked. Why do those who have no regard for you seem to live such untroubled lives free of the adversity we face? Lord, we ask you to help your child understand that this struggle according to your eternal perspective in the mighty name of Jesus. Asaph tells us how he nearly slipped when he saw that the wicked lived free of struggles. Despite their pride, violence and corruption, they seemed to live healthy and carefree lives. This made Asaph question if he had purified his heart in vain and if living justly truly mattered to God. Yet, Asaph says in verse 17 that when he entered God's sanctuary, he understood their final destiny. He recalls stories like that of Lazarus and the rich man in Luke 16, 19 to 31. Though the rich man lived luxuriously without care in his life, the poor beggar Lazarus who longed just for the crumbs from his table was carried by angels to eternal paradise or death. The rich man then begged for mercy and cool water, fully realizing his mistake, but he could not escape torment separated forever from the peace granted to Lazarus for the faithfulness he cultivated in hardship. As Asaph regained your eternal perspective, 
he realized that in envying the proud, he had lost grasp of what truly matters. For behold, those who are far from you will vanish. You put an end to all who are unfaithful. The success in this life is but a breath compared to the hope you have given us of eternity with you. And so, Lord, your child dwells on comparison. We know and worldly measures of prosperity fills his heart. His vision instead of the promises of Jeremiah 29, 11, that you have good plans to give us a future with hope. Lord, we come, Lord, humbly asking that you help your child focus not on the fleeting pleasures enjoyed by those who disregard you, but fixes his or our eyes on Jesus as the ultimate model of virtue and endurance for the joy set before him, according to Hebrews 12, 2. Lord, we remember the commandments in Exodus 20, 17 and Romans 13, 9. Do not covet anything belonging to our neighbors, for jealousy and envy spring forth insatiable desire for the things of this world which will all pass away. Even King David, a man after your own heart, temporarily lost perspective when he envied Uriah, whose loyal wife Bathsheba he stole and whose death fighting for Israel he later arranged. David's son, King Solomon too, pursued many earthly pleasures that turned his heart from you, and even disciples like John and James quarreled with others out of pride, losing focus of their calling to your kingdom in hopes of worldly greatness. The ultimate example will look to you, God, is that your son Jesus in Hebrews 4, 15, under the word reminds your child that we do not have a high priest unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are, yet was without sin. Following his mother, Lord, we pray for the meekness embodied by Christ who taught in Matthew 11, 29 to take his yoke upon your child and learn from him. Lord, Galatians chapter 5 verse 26 says that envy and conceit will consume us if we left it unchecked. I pray that any jealousy, bitterness, insecurity or mistrust the seeds itself in your child's heart be transformed by your spirit of grace. Fill your child's heart instead with the gentleness, patience and hope that demonstrates through those devoted to you. As we reflect on Psalm 73, may your child remember the drawing nigh to you is our greatest good. Lord God, keep your child's focus not on the temporal things of the earth, but set on the things that are unseen and they are above. You alone can fully satisfy his or her innermost needs according to the riches of your glory. Lord, I thank you because you have removed the rosy view of sin and all the facade of unself and righteousness. And you've nailed his selfish or her selfish desires and pride to the cross of Jesus Christ, replacing envy with compassion, transforming his or her competitive spirits into cold vessels that overflow with your love. Thank you, Lord, because you are feeling the valley in your child's souls with strings from your mountain springing that never run dry. Thank you, God Almighty, for the understanding that envy is destructive, but dwelling and contending with what you give us will give us eternal life. We receive this and more, Lord God, based on your promise in Psalm 73 verse 28, that drawing near to you is our greatest good. Thank you because we remain here wholeheartedly, our strength and portion forever. In you we trust and surrender everything into your hand with thanksgiving because you've done it in Jesus' mighty name.